Tonight, we are dining at La Luce here at Hilton Orlando Bonnet Creek. They have invited us out to try the new menu here for Food One Weekend, so we're excited. Hope you guys are excited. If you guys don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So for this four-course meal, there's actually two options to choose from in the antipasta, primi, secondi, and dolce, or dessert. Because there are two options for each course of the meal, Josh and I each decided to get one of each. That way we can try everything on the menu tonight. So to start, we have the zuppa, or soup, and it is a roasted pepper and tomato. It is so good. You can really smell the red pepper before you even try it, and it is amazing. It is a nice, almost creamy texture. It's really smooth. It's blended nicely. There's a little bit of oil drizzled on top, and I think that gives it a nice little extra bit of flavor in there. Mm. It almost kind of reminds me of the texture of like a lobster bisque, but obviously the flavor is quite different because it's the pepper and tomato. So the other thing that we got was the bruschetta. This is heirloom tomatoes, mozzarella, and pesto. Story time, long time ago, first like, I don't know, maybe it's like the second time I came with Taylor's family, we were at Mama Melrose's and we were on the dining plan. The Lux dining plan, you have to get an appetizer entree dessert. So for an appetizer, I chose to get uh, bruschetta, basically. Tomatoes and mozzarella cheese. And I hate tomatoes. And everybody was like, why did you get that? You don't like tomatoes. And I, wanted, I was like, I want to, you know, I want to try it and see if I can, like, maybe make myself like it. I did. But I was actually looking forward to the soup. I actually really, really like this. It's extremely light. Um, those heirloom tomatoes are not... They don't, they don't give off that, um, I don't know, sometimes they get like a weird tomato taste vibe. Uh, it's not like that. And then of course that pesto, a little bit salty um, with that olive oil in there. And then the mozzarella cheese. I mean, this is, it's amazing. It is, it has that nice um, balance between a little bit of the creaminess of the mozzarella cheese with the crunch of the bread. So. I think this is fantastic. Uh, if Taylor doesn't eat hers, I'm going to eat it. So because this is food and wine weekends, they do have a wine pairing, which I know Josh mentioned. We are not super big wine drinkers. However, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to try some wine. So I did get the wine pairing for tonight. And for the first course, it is a Prosecco. All of the wines are about a two ounce pour throughout the meal and it gives you a good little taste of a variety of wines. I actually love Prosecco, so I was really looking forward to this first one. Now listen, I don't know how to describe wines. However, I can tell why they paired the Prosecco with this course, because on my palate, it just, this is weird, but it just feels right. Instead of wine, I have got the uh, Mora Mora. This is a blackberry infused rum with uh, a few different things in it. Some mint, simple syrup, and of course, rum was the first thing, so I couldn't turn it away. I almost feel like it's a blackberry infused Andy's mint. <laughs> Seriously, but it's good. Here at Olucha, they also do a bread service for you. So they have an olive bread, a focaccia, and a ciabatta. All are pretty good. They serve it with olive oil, and then you can also get balsamic if you would like that as well. And they'll bring out butter, but we chose to not get any butter tonight. We're just going off of the olive oil, which is fantastic, and uh, the balsamic. So it's been a really great meal so far to start. So our next course is about to come out, and that will be the pastas. And this is paired with a tali chardonnay. I can't really pick it out myself, but I have been told that there's like some hints of lemon and apple in there. I haven't drank enough wine in my life to really know, but it is good. I, so far, these two wines, so it was Prosecco first and now this Chardonnay. I actually normally don't like Chardonnay because I feel like, um, not that it's not sweet enough, because sometimes they're a little bit of sweet, um, but sometimes I think they're too dry and I really don't like dry wine, but I do really like this one so far. I'm excited to try it with the actual pasta dishes that come out. So the first dish is a spaghetti that is a Reggiano and a Percorino Romano. 
Uh, and then the next one is a uh, farfalle, and it is wild mushrooms, asparagus, and truffle cheese. Now, if you guys have watched this for a while, I don't like truffle. So what I really like about the spaghetti is the texture. Uh, this actual spaghetti itself is cooked perfectly. And then on top of that, you have this amazing Parmesan cheese that goes along with it. It's just, it's phenomenal. Texture-wise, it's great, and I really like it. And what is even better is that the bowl that the pasta is actually served in is what appears to be baked Parmesan cheese. So you can eat the pasta and then also eat the bowl, and it is fantastic. So I did really like the spaghetti with the Parmesan on there. However, I more enjoyed the farfalle with the mushrooms and truffle. The farfalle pasta was cooked really nice. It was super tender. And I actually normally don't like mushrooms. However, these ones were cooked really well. So it was a nice addition to this dish. And I think it gave it some more like depth of flavor. It was a little more earthy. And then the asparagus in there gave it a little bit of crunch to it. Um, overall, both of these pastas were amazing. But I would say the farfalle was my favorite. So we have gotten to the third course of the meal or second day, which is kind of like the main course. And it is paired with the Big Basin Pinot Noir. I normally don't really like red wines, so I wasn't sure what I was gonna think of this. However, I think the red wines that I have tried in the past have been more dry and like, I don't know if they were just like a cheap wine and not good tasting, um, for me anyway. This is, a really good red wine. It doesn't taste like almost like a like dense. I feel like red wines always have like still dense to me. I don't know, but this is really good. It is. Um, it's kind of like a spiced red fruit, if you will. Um, it is really good. I will definitely be finishing the glass, and I think it pairs really well with the risotto and the filet. Um, I actually haven't tried the salmon yet, but I am excited. So for the uh, main courses here, I have the seared salmon filet. This is served with buttermilk, potato puree, tomato, and a chai butter sauce. And I was really uh, apprehensive because I thought it was a very strange combination to serve mashed potatoes with salmon. Um, and I think that's just because I've never had it before, but uh, it's actually pretty good. It's a great pairing. Um, and I think what really sets it off is that butter chive sauce that they basically drizzle all over everything. So there's no real like, uh, you know, cause I think mashed potatoes, I think like a gravy or something like that. Um, this sauce really takes the place of that and adds um, a nice, you know, buttery, almost silky smooth like texture to it all. Uh, and then, of course, the salmon is cooked, uh, like, perfectly. They have this beautiful, nice... Ooh, some ice just came on. Some beautiful... They have a beautiful, nice crust across the top. And then the salmon itself is still nice and tender on the inside. So, uh, hands down, once again, like, this is a this is a regular size entree. Um, it's fantastic. Great job. The other entree that we got is the risotto. It comes with a seared filet mignon. English peas, thyme, reggiano, red wine, butter, and cipollinis. Anytime we have come to La Luce, we have gotten risotto. And that's because their risotto here is amazing. Their risottos are typically seasonal as well. So you can always get something different whenever you come here. And this risotto is just as good as the last one, even though it's slightly different in the ingredients. It's super creamy. There's a nice rich flavor in there. And the filet of beef on top is cooked perfectly. It's a nice medium rare. It's seared nice on the outside. This is overall an amazing dish. And it's a lot of risotto. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish it all, but we have made it to dessert, the very last course. And of course, there is a wine pairing. This is a sweet wine, a dessert wine. It is the Donna Fugana Ben Rai Pesito, and it gets its flavor from apricots and orange peel, candied orange peel, actually. They give you an even smaller pour of this wine because it is so sweet. Um, a lot of dessert wines are actually not like a wine that you can drink a lot of because they are so sweet. So this honestly is enough 
of this sweet wine. However, it is really good. That apricot really comes through. And this is more of my style of wine. I like sweet wine, dessert wine, I guess. So one of the two desserts that we got is the chocolate Nutella cake. It is rich chocolate cake with Nutella ganache and light Nutella cream served with a vanilla gelato. This cake is amazing. This is like right up my alley. I really like the rich and decadent cake and it's kind of um, dense. It's not like super airy. However, it goes really nice with the thick Nutella ganache and then the light Nutella cream. All of the combination of flavors together and the textures are perfect. Like this is an amazing chocolate cake. You do get a little bit of hazelnut in there and there are some hazelnuts actually on the plate but the chocolate is, that's where it's at. So the other dessert that we got is the sugar bomboloni. And really it's basically a donut that's not um, been sugar coated or anything like that. They cut it in half, they put an amarina cherry gelato in the center and then they put some cherries around the outside. Um, and what I did is I just kind of flattened that out and I squished it all together, kind of made it into a sandwich and uh, it is really, really good. Yeah. It's really good. It has a nice prominent flavor of cherry in there. Um, and then that kind of uh, nice donut texture that goes with it. it, it is, um, it's almost like that perfect cake and ice cream combination, but I think I actually kind of prefer this with the donut. So it's really good. Uh, of course, I'm not a huge dessert fan, but I actually really enjoy it. I think I like it because of that really strong prominent cherry flavor that's in there. So it's good. All right, so we just finished eating at La Luce. And of course, I do want to always state, which we said at the beginning of the video, um, this was complimentary to us today, which was mm -hmm. really nice of them, and we really appreciate it. And it was a fantastic meal. Regardless if it was taken care of for us or not, La Luce has always been amazing every time we've gone it, there. It has. And uh, and I know that like you're like, well, you can't really say that in all honesty, but... Um, I think even in times when, um, you know, we've been invited to stuff, we always give our honest opinion. And if yeah. there is something that we don't like, we definitely still say that. But mm -hmm. La Luce, time and time again, because we've been there before, mm -hmm. um, not invited and paid. And it yeah. has just been phenomenal. And it mm -hmm. is just, um, there is a reason why it's ranked, you know, the number, number one two. number one Italian restaurant in Orlando. Yeah. And, and number, number two, two overall. So it is every, like, it's it's worth every dollar. It really is. Yeah. And I think the wine pairing was fantastic tonight. Like I said before, I'm not a big wine drinker, but I think if you go to the right restaurant, yeah. trying something new like that, like a wine pairing, La Luce was a good place for me to try um, that for the first time. Another thing I want to mention is with the bruschetta that we had at the beginning Ooh. of the meal, neither one of us really liked tomato. And... I really don't like tomato mozzarella like that together, and I ate my whole piece of bruschetta. I I honestly think that that may have been like my favorite part of the dinner tonight, which is like a little uh -huh. weird, but it was really really good. When you go to a good restaurant, you can tell yes the quality absolutely, and I think that's why we enjoyed mm -hmm. the bruschetta tonight was because of the quality of the food that they used in the dish. So it was good. Good. It was amazing. It was excellent. <laughs> but overall, I think it was a fantastic meal tonight. And I think for the price for $55 a person for a yes. four course meal is definitely worth it because those portion sizes were they were huge. They were regular normal portion sizes. They did mm -hmm. not scale them down. And uh, we all. even actually <laughs> talked to the server about it, you know, and it was like, maybe they could, you know, maybe like shrink down the pasta servings a little <laughs> bit, but hey, I mean, it's just, it's more... Bang mm -hmm. for your buck, so. Yeah, and that's always something that you could take home with you. For sure. So let us know if you have ever dined at La Luce, and let us know if the, you are thinking about coming and trying out food and wine weekends here at Hilton Orlando Bonnet Creek. So, I, uh, I don't like wine. I still don't like wine.